This is a little mini lecture before um, you attempt problem 67. Uh, the hint down here at the bottom says review paragraph just before 8.12 uh, because we need, we need that idea to be able to do this quarter problem. So let's go back and take a look at what that was. So that's this paragraph right here dealing with this main picture with the result being that linear speed is the same thing as tangential speed if we have a wheel rolling without slipping. It's very important that the wheel doesn't slip. So if you've got something sliding to a stop or the, the, the tires are, are spinning in place or even partially spinning in place, spinning in place, this does not apply. This result doesn't apply. Now the big thing we need for that for the problem we're about to do isn't so much this linear speed equals the tangential speed. It's something that happens up above there. It's this idea uh, of this distance from A to B is the same thing as this linear distance from here A to B. So to help with this visual, there's lots of things you can do. You can put some paint on a tire and have it roll along uh, and see what it carves out. Or in this case, I'm going to use a little bit of uh, painter's tape. And with the painter's tape, the painter's tape cooperates here. There we go. We're going to do the reverse. Instead of having the wheel paint a line, we're going to have a line that will paint the wheel. So we're just going to double this up a little bit here so it'll stick to the table. So I'm going to stick this down here to the table. I hope. Let's take this to the table. There we go. We got this stuck on the table. Hold that back a little bit. And now let's take our wheel. And there's only one place we're going to make contact, okay, with the with the ground, and that's going to be right there or effectively only one place we're going to make contact. So I'm going to roll this forward, and eventually we're going to start to make contact. And we're not going to have this slip. Okay, so right there. So I started to make contact with the tape. So I'm going to go ahead and mark that on my wheel here. Take my expo. And we can see that we've made contact along the wheel right here, right in that area right there. They're all marked, marked there as well. Now we're going to roll along, okay? And we're going to see what happens on the wheel versus what happens on the ground. So we're going to roll, we're making contact, making contact. I'm going to need to, oh, yeah, we're okay. I'm going to need to help it out a little bit. There we go. And we're going to roll along, roll along, roll along, roll along. All right, so we're still rolling. And now, right here is where my, my tape right there is running out. So I'm going to go ahead and mark the, uh, mark the table again and mark my tire right there. And hopefully, uh, it worked better in the other room. I'm going to have to help it out a little bit again. It's not quite sticking for me. Go ahead and... I folded it back a little bit too far. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and let that lift up. So we are now past that point because we're now over here. But on the wheel, it was from here to here. So from here to here. And if we look at the tape we pulled up and put on here, it's that section that we just took out because I marked the desk. In the picture, this is what we're talking about. From A to B is that distance A to B. So here where the tape is or where I've marked on the wheel, here and here, a little tougher to see on the video, but from here to here, is that distance because it's physically that tape it's now stuck to the wheel i'll peel that off although i think all of it stayed in the shot pretty much and if i put this tape back down remember i had it folded up a little bit on the corners folded up a little bit on the corners you can see we're getting that we're getting that distance on the wheel i've got my marks here still it's from here to here that's important uh, for wheels that don't slip. If the wheel slips, that's not true. But that's important because that gets us this relationship that they called um, D equals S, where S is the arc length and D, sorry, S is the arc length and D is this distance we traveled along the ground. Now on the picture, and we could do this with the wheel as well, but if you just notice, from here to here would be the same from the center to the center. So you just parallel line, move that up, and you've got that your linear distance there is equal to your arc length uh, from A to B, and that's what S is. If you have any questions on that or want a slightly different version of that, I have another version where we you put something on the wheel and it makes a mark on the ground, I just come in and we can, uh, or I can convince you of that, I think. That's it. If you're moving on to 67, that's a separate video.